welcome back uh, everyone uh yeah welcome to the ckc channel again and um yeah we are back after the break we will be continuing with match five we've got six matches for the day and tomorrow we have six more so it's a double round robin and um, it's been interesting thus far <coughs> and uh, we've got uh, um craig and watu playing playing against each other for the first time today craig is leading the event i said told you guys i will update the scores i will do that during this game because uh yeah we were behind on schedule and and so on but i'll update it so craig has got two points he's got two out of two um henry's got one and a half out of two Watu has got a half out of two and barris has got zero out of two for now so important games to follow and um yeah and of course now i would also like to just uh uh welcome and introduce my co-host for for the next um session uh she's uh, uh played uh, or she represented south africa at the world olympiad in 2014 in norway and she's uh, actually ended second in the last essay closed second time she's done that as well and um she's also actually uh one of the main people that uh, has uh, been part of the ckc channel I think without her, there wouldn't be a CKC channel. So, um, and of course, my uh, new fiance, welcome, Robin van Niekerk. Thank you. Thank you, Kevin. Hello, Watu. Hello, Craig. Hi, Robin. Welcome. All right. So, uh, it's, a, it's a good day for us. It's a good day for me. So, um, yeah, I think we can get going as soon as I just generate the position. So, let's... Uh, Let's click twice. So I'm going to pick whether or not it's a new position. I already said I'm going to click twice. So just to make it completely random. So I'll click again. And um, yeah, there we go. That's our position. Uh, just to confirm with both players, we haven't played this position yet, eh? Uh, no. Okay. No, no. Right. So whenever you are ready, you guys can mute your computers. Craig, you can start whenever you are ready. Good luck, guys. Okay, thanks. Okay, so Robin, you uh, came joint second. Okay, on tiebreak, you ended third in the last one. Uh, the four queens, of course, Robin being one of the queens of the um, four queens tournament. Um, what can you tell us about this variant? And uh, how was your experience? And uh, what 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 can you tell us about this game in general? Um, it, it's very exciting, first of all. Um, it was a bit uh, getting used to it. I had to get used to it a bit. But still, I enjoyed it a lot. And, and yeah, it's very attacking as well. So, yes, that's all. Aha, uh -huh, yeah. Um, lots of attacking games from um, the Four Queens tournament last time. The guys have been showing us more positional play. And, um, yeah, this is going to be a, a tight contest. Uh, of course, Craig is... Uh, the one leading the tournament, he uh, seemed to know how to use the Dragon Bishops the best. Uh, Watu always in a fighting spirit. Watu coming from a loss now against Henry, so he's going to be keen to bounce back and as well. And on the king side, it looks like a normal chess position with a bishop and the knight. And then on the queen side, it's just the bishop and the knight jumbled. Yeah, so it looks kind of normal. It looks kind of normal. Uh, which would, like Henry said, I, th I keep on quoting Henry, but I think it's true, like the more normal the position looks, the more uh, easier or, or less heavy it can be on um, the player with the black side. But so. in, in your guys' gathering um, of this first uh, tournament, you, you guys had a position where it was exactly like a chess position. So how did that feel playing, playing a normal position, but with the dragon bishops? uh i i kind of enjoy the the normal positions um because there's so much difference between the normal chess and this in any event so there's the normal theories thrown out of the window in fact yeah we see a queen's gambit like position uh, but you will you guys will see soon notice that um the normal theory is out the window so i enjoy the normal uh, looking like positions but um uh chaos is also uh interesting i know what to likes chaos he's uh he feeds off it so should be interesting this one uh, but closer to normal positions i would say so pawn to c4 would you grab the pawn 
No, I would first develop my pieces. Try to develop my pieces at least. From okay. my experience from the tournament that I played in. Okay, yeah. so what would you play? Uh, let's see. Oh, you got I would have played knight f3. Knight f3 also uh, mm. a move that was on my mind, but Kray goes immediately for uh, e4, the break. We've spoken about the break in the center. And now if pawn takes e4, are we going to see dragon takes e4? Or what are we looking at here? Interesting decision there. And what to decide first to throw in an, a, a check on b4? How does... Uh, Wait, but how does... Oh. Ooh. So you couldn't block dragon on b1, couldn't move like a dragon yet because the knight on c1 yeah. and the pawn on b2 is in the way. Or the dragon on f1 couldn't go in front either. Yes. So it's it's this looks like a Steinitz uh, King's Gambit. You know those romantic era Steinitz used to play the King's Gambit and allow the check on h4 and then king e2. But it doesn't seem like this was planned by Craig. Maybe a dragon uh, sl slip. I or he just forgot about the check. Um... But okay, what to grabs on c4 now and. Um, Okay, white's got the center, but the king might be an issue in the future. So Craig probably needs to do a bit of thinking here. I think it's important for him to... Do you think in general to bring out your dragon bishops early would be a good idea? No, I've been I've been saying that you mustn't get them out too, too early, unless you have something directly in mind, of course, what to now mm. using that. But in general, the dragon bishops are so valuable that you don't want to uh, expose them. Thank you to Kalel with a hyphen for uh, following welcome to the show and uh, guys this is the start of match five very very strange opening um but now can we see white playing dragon bishop to d2 rook e1 and then king f1 and then his king is safe again ah mm -hmm. okay the dragon from f1 going to d2 yeah also attacking c4 yeah. Attacking c4, rook e1, and king of one. That seems very logical. Yeah. So it's gonna be up to what to 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 say what he's gonna do in the meantime. <clears throat> because if white does get all of that in that Robin has just said, then white will be okay. Uh black is a pawn up, but the question is how long that pawn is gonna last on c4. If white recaptures it, he will have a beautiful strong center. So double-edged play, I feel. Dragon D2. And um yeah. So so about this four queens tournament, Robin, what about it was maybe the most fun for you about the event? I think in one of my games I, I actually checkmated with the dragon bishops. So that was quite cool. Ah yeah, I remember <laughs> that one, a double dragon mate. Yeah. That's what that, I that was. like to call it a double dragon mate, the two dragons being used. So yeah, that was a, a nice one. So mating your opponent, you say, with the dragon bishops are the most fun. Yes. Okay, so what to do here? What to needs to decide? In fact, um, since I'm not talking to the players, I think I should take off my headphones. Not that I need it right now. And uh, what to playing a Bogo Indian like move? Pawn to a5 in the Bogo Indian. But now, can why just play a dragon takes c4? I think so. I think so. Maybe what to just didn't want to move backwards with a dragon immediately. A dragon to c4 looks good. Dragon takes c4. Yes. Oh, my idea coming through. Mm hmm Rook E1 played. So Craig in order to rush to take the C4 pawn. Maybe uh putting the king safety more important than the pawn. Yeah. Can Black maybe think of going B5, playing B5? Definitely an idea in the 
Catalan it is also an idea, yeah. but and then maybe knight b6. Mm -hmm. you know, bring out your pieces as well. Why not? Maybe that is an option for what to is probably contemplating it. Yeah, guys, I know we've been having some technical issues, so I'll, please forgive me. I'm not going to update the scores now. I'll just verbally remind you on it. Um, but I will update the timetable during the course of today. So what are we thinking here? We need to decide. B5 or castle, or maybe we can't play knight d6 because the fork. Maybe knight b6. Knight b6 protecting the pawn. I like this pawn to b5. Or c5? Can't c5 work? Or is that? No, maybe not. Why c5? Just to hit the center immediately? That's yeah. also an idea. I would maybe want to castle first and then play c5, but yeah, we never know. Maybe it's good. But I would be greedy and just play b5. And just consider what can white do immediately. White, of course, has this potential of playing e5 and kicking the knight on f6. And then the king side looks very dangerous. But then wouldn't black just get the d5 outpost? And isn't outpost strong when you have the dragon bishops? Yeah, it would be. But imagine black castles. And then those two dragon bishops aiming down up the king side at wow. knight to g5. and So uh, maybe the timing must be in if uh, Greg wants B6. to do something like that. Knight to b6, okay, but more sober move than b5. Not burning your bridges with the pawn moves. Thank you to all the new followers. Welcome to the show, guys. If you're tuning in for the first time, then, um, yeah, it's uh, uh, Paradigm Chess 30, the new chess variant that we're playing here with the dragon bishops on the board. And it's also the pieces are uh, randomized behind the pawns. So it's a mixture of uh, Fisher Random and um, this new piece that has been created, um, the dragon bishop. It moves like a bishop and like a Zhangyi knight from Chinese chess. Ah, c5. So all your moves are coming. So knight b6, c5. Okay, white here. Craig, in the meantime, did play king f1. I kind of missed that. But at least the king, after those first couple of moves, it, uh, it could have ended up much worse by first glance. What to being active here, deciding to play c5. He doesn't want to allow white to have this huge center forever. Would it have been bad if um, white actually took on c4 and then went back to this and then tried to castle, artificial castle? Instead of instead of the rook e1 move? Yeah. I don't or did know. he want to get thought... king safety immediately? Yeah. I thought that he should take the pawn, but you never know if he didn't. If he took the pawn and he ended up not getting his king safe, then we could have also criticized him. So it's difficult to say. Felt like he had enough time though. If you're watching and you can't uh, type in the chat box, just remember to press the follow button. And then that will enable the chat. This is the second last match of the day. And Craig is leading the event with two out of two. Uh, Watu is on a half out of two right now. Henry Steele is on uh, one and a half out of two. And Barish is still on zero. So um, So what would you play for white? Oh. Sure, I don't know. Um, pawn to e5 played. I'm not sure. It seems like his pieces are also jumbled up a bit. I mean, the e4 pawn needed to be defended the whole time. Okay, he had enough protection. 
i3 was uh, also a possibility but then drag into c6 maybe i3 looks like it force exchanges but it doesn't e5 very committing like you said the d5 square is blacks but it doesn't seem like black is gonna castle now or you should be very weary about castling At f to d5 what should white do knight c3 just keep on developing oh knight, what am i saying knight, knight c3 knight i'm thinking the knight's on b1 um knight e2 what do you think You've got a knack of coming out of sticky situations. I would say you just go a3. a3 so and then he's forced to exchange that bishop. But a3, then... dragon to c6. Oh yes, dragon can go back. Yeah, that's what I was <laughs> I saying thought... earlier. Yeah, but uh, not forcing the exchange. So a3 looks natural that you should take. But a3, dragon c6 and you just created another hole on b3. Mm. Knight e2. Oh, what about bishop, a dragon, bishop, g5, to go e4, attacking c5. Ooh. Oh, okay. but then you can, might as well go the bishop, a dragon, bishop on b1 to e4. And then you start yes. attacking c5. Yes, yeah, so and dragon to e4 is well. good, yeah. Dragon to e4 is good. Of course, it's what you to play. Um... Bungie is saying knight g3, knight e4 to d6. So that's a, maybe a square that white can capitalize on. Black has got the d5 square, but white can potentially play knight g3, knight e4, knight d6. That's a decent, quite a decent idea there. The d6 square is soft, but we saw something interesting in the previous match um, where Henry sacrificed his dragon for two knights, and the two knights seem to be very impressive. So how many points is Watu on now? Watu is on a half out of two. He had a crazy game against Henry. Uh, anything could have happened, but yeah, he lost that one. I still feel uh, White needs to get rid of that bishop on b5 before just to loosen. So he can move around. He's can move more freely mm -hmm. uh bungee also says a3 i mentioned out a3 maybe black and go dragon to c6 so don't be exactly forcing it but i mean you you're pushing it back what you playing dragon to d7 it all looks good for what to right now with extra pawn but still this idea of knight g3 and knight e4 does seem if white can realize that plan would be quite menacing for black to handle oh maybe black threatening bishop a4 dragon bishop a4 dragon to a4 hmm. no but then just queen c wire Oh, but still, you're pushing the queen. And what about b3? Okay, but then you're ex Ooh, exchanging then dragon, your... dragon b2, isn't it? Dragon b2 and then queen c2. And then the dragon... Ah, oh, then you win the rook. It's just a matter of whether the dragon can escape. But that seems quite cool. So what was played? Um, dragon to d7. So Craig is taking his time here. Yeah. The time is about equal now. Both players are at about nine minutes. 
Maybe white can play knight c3. Stopping the move that I thought of bishop a dragon bishop a4. Knight c3. And then like Bungie said, knight to e e4 to d6. Yes. I guess we're gonna have to exchange then. Knight c3, knight takes knight. Obviously, I'm not going to allow that knight to get to e4 in that way, so. Yeah. But again, this bishop a4 is also something that white needs to look out for. King to g1 played instead. Was there any funny business for the king? I don't know if that was completely necessary. Maybe he's seeing something that we're not seeing. King safety. King safety. Aha. Uh -huh. I don't know if the king was in such trouble though. Tempo seems to be very important. I still say dragon a4. Okay, dragon a4. B3. B3. Yeah. And then dragon b2. Yes. So I guess white will have to go queen c1 after dragon a4. Okay, I mean... Can't you take on b3 then? Pawn takes pawn on b3. Dragon a4? Queen c1. Oh, queen c1 now. Oh. I was told B3 was... Oh, yeah, yeah. If, if B3, then pawn takes pawn, yeah? Uh, Bungie says uh, he wants black to commit castling. Yeah, I, I thought that castling was too dangerous for black. So, H6 played prophylaxis against knight G5. Maybe black has got castling in mind, but still... Seems dangerous. What is black going to do against knight g3 right now? Would it be dangerous if black tries to long castle? Sure. All those pawns. <laughs> All those pawns were already pushed. I don't know. I would rather keep my king in the middle. Put it on f8 or something. But also maybe black wants to wants to play g4 g5 g4 where does the knight go g5 g4 whoa okay <clears throat> that's interesting but that f6 square does look very dangerous if you do push the g pawn but okay it's double edged stuff anything's possible um Welcome Bearded Zaid, he's saying is King G1 not making space for Dragon F1? Right now the Dragon Bishop on D2 can't go to F1, okay, but now we see Knight C3 being played, so perhaps Dragon F1, but the Dragon on F1 can't go to G3 or E3 because the F2 pawn is in the way, so not the most flexible square um, Bearded Zaid. So that Dragon D to B2, okay, so the other Dragon on B1 could perhaps, maybe it's an idea, yeah. Because that's the only piece white needs to really get out. Um, Bungie says knight g3, knight h5 later, yeah. So what to do now? Knight e4 is on the card, so I say we have to chop the knight. Knight takes knight. What is what you're thinking about? Probably knight takes knight. Ah, but I mean, you can take it and then think again, or is there something else? I don't know, I'm looking. <laughs> Maybe dragon c6. Dragon on d7 to c6. 
Okay, so dragon on d7 to c6 and then knight to e4. Yeah, I was uh, I'm agreeing with Bungie. Knight takes knight seemed to be the main move for me. But pawn takes d4. Can white ignore it and play knight e4? That's what I'm thinking. Can white just take? Yeah, well, after knight takes d4 and then then we can play knight takes c3, give the isolated pawn then we at least then black i see uh, what was idea getting rid of the big center but my big question is knight e4 immediately going for knight d6 check what is black gonna do about that Panji says pawn to c3 after that okay uh, Okay, so knight takes d4 played. Are we gonna see knight takes c3? I think we should see knight takes c3, yeah. Things can quickly go wrong though. If you take on c3, dragon takes c3, dragon takes c3, pawn takes c3, and if black castles, then queen c2, and some mating threats. So, and yeah, so. But like you said, maybe knight, knight should take knight because of knight e4 and then d6. Yeah. I just think black should be careful of castling. Be very careful of that diagonal. Bearded Zayd is suggesting maybe dragon B to E4. Ah, so the dragon can also go there, yes. Of course, it's black to play. But yeah, I think E for the E4 square is just good for a lot of pieces, the knights and the dragons. So definitely potentially what you want to do. And yes, that b dragon bishop on b1 does want to come out. Knight takes knight on the board. And uh, pawn takes played. It seems like maybe David spotted it a bit. Uh, trend from Craig's play is to try to keep the dragon bishops on the board. That is his strength. So why exchange a pair of dragon bishops? Also scoring a tempo with pawn takes, of course. After dragon takes c3, black wouldn't be forced to do anything. So where to put the dragon now? Dragon C5. Say again? Dragon C5. Okay. So it's covering the E4 square at least. So if one dragon lands on E4, then at least Watu can swap off one if he feels like it. The dragon on C5 is protected by the other dragon. And the dragon on C5 is also protecting the B7 pawn. So they're holding everything together but the dragon on e4 will still look good so i'm expecting maybe dragon e4 maybe queen g4 queen g4 looks interesting mm. queen g4 played g7 is hanging i think this is a big moment for what to now he needs to decide what to do white's got a lot of space that the rook on e1 can potentially go up to e3 and swing around for mating ideas so the two dragon bishops beaming up the king side this is what I was talking about. I don't see black castling here yeah, and uh, Definitely. and staying safe. Thank you. Uh, Booba ABC, thank you for for the well wishes. And uh, Bungie says, um, Castle, there's a mate in two. <laughs> ah, maybe what is going for the long castle? Ah, okay, so so Queen E7 and saying if I if you take on G7, then uh, 
a long castle in the open G file I'm going to use. With Rook D to F, G8. What you did this to me one year at the SA Open. Uh, he's got an amazing way of bluffing you. Uh, I believe him most of the times. But I've learned over the years. Sometimes you can't believe him. But in this case, Queen takes G7. Long castle. But wouldn't that be dangerous to long castle? Because of Bishop E4. Dragon Bishop E4. Rook B1. Help the B file, maybe. Yeah, it does look dangerous. Uh, thanks, Bearded Zaid. Yes, indeed. So, yeah, that's something interesting. So, you say Queen takes G7, Long Castle, and then Dragon to E4 with Rook B1 to follow. Yes, I think White should play Queen takes G7. Test the waters. Let what to castle, black castle. <laughs> okay, but is there a huge threat after dragon e4? And you must still get rook b1 in. But it's still something. And uh, because what is black going to do now? Rook and after long castle, dragon e4, rook d to g8, and the queen has to go to f6, and we swap of queens and mm. interesting end game then. Because yeah, then white has just recovered his pawn then. Bungie is saying the same thing, dragon b uh or Bungie is saying immediately dragon bishop to e4, rook b1, rook b5. Oh, but there goes c2, dragon bishop c c But why there? Um hmm. Maybe he doesn't want to exchange the dragon bishops. Doesn't want to allow any exchanges. So long castle played. Very uh, <clears throat> exciting game here. Both sides are going to go for it now. Rook B1. See the the viewers uh, are getting used to the ideas, of course, with the help of Robin. But maybe the the bishop would have been better on e4. Yeah, instead maybe. Instead of c2. Maybe. Black could perhaps try some dragon takes e4 and then dragon c5 and trying to swap off all the dragon bishops. Maybe that is what uh, Craig didn't want to allow. Some exchanges. <laughs> Whether or not it was good or not, I don't know. But Oh yes, and there Booba, ABC says d6 square for the white knight, perhaps. So maybe knight b5 now. Okay. Knight b5, threatening knight d6. d6. Maybe a huge threat. So yeah, what to maybe has to think, yeah. Because he does have just like uh, David said earlier on, if you push pawns where you're gonna castle, it can be very dangerous long term wise. And what to is staring probably at these uh, holes around his king. And his attack is not really going yet. I was thinking maybe queen f3, threatening dragon bishop takes c4 maybe. Oh no, it's defended. I was thinking then we we take on b7, but the dragon bishop is defending. Um. Well, the bungee is also saying dragon f3 or and just i b7, knight b5, knight d6, b file. I think what oh so now queen f3 maybe queen f3 you say
So no in percent. Queen e2 played. So the c4 pawn needs to be watched. Yeah, queen f3 also looked quite good. Uh, the e5 pawn also needs to be watched though by the rook on e1. So now white's threatening knight b5. Knight b5, yeah. And uh, what is not really? Can't, oh. Can't white maybe go rook rook b5 and double up? Yes, that's what Bungie also suggested earlier. Oh. Yes, indeed. Oh. Lots of ideas with this b5 square. So yeah. we right now we're only seeing ideas for white. Or what to is a pawn up, but his king side is a bit weakened, and I don't see any attack. So Watu seems to be in trouble even being a pawn up. Would it be of any use for black to go g5? Ah, uh, it seems too slow. Mm -hmm. Seems too slow. I think black is now doomed to just stop white's attack. Now we're close to getting to the white king. And yeah, what is down to less than a minute? Booba ABC has uh, pointed that out as well. Time is a factor now. Um, king to B8 played. Watu doesn't seem comfortable. Craig has got four minutes left. Watu is basically on a minute now when he gets his 15 seconds when his time starts again. Rook b5, knight b5, lots of options. What do you play? I would play rook b5. Rook b5 and double up. Yep. Is black going to have to give up a dragon bishop for a rook perhaps? I don't know if he can afford to move back. And what to runs? I don't know if he's running to the toilet or what. But with 44 seconds on the clock. Uh, what to doing what he does at the tournaments as well. Things get exciting or excited, then sometimes he will take a walk just to intimidate his opponent sometimes. Or just make his opponent think a bit longer. I think it's just the excitement in what to Do you think a, a rook and a knight is okay for a dragon bishop? Definitely. We saw so, two knights are stronger than a dragon yeah. bishop in the previous example. So maybe example. not rook, rook b5 because then dragon bishop takes d, d4 yeah. and then dragon bishop takes b5. Yeah, so okay. Maybe... Okay, well spotted. I didn't see that one. Yeah, that's a nice one. So maybe not that. So knight b5. I guess the king bait was a prophylaxis so that if knight b5 and knight d6 is at least not check. But uh, what about just rook b2 then? Rook b2 looks cool to me. Rook b2 just threatening to double up? Yeah, maybe. So Craig looking at dragon to e3 but uh, retracting it. Of course this is online play guys. There's no touch move. It's just about leaving the pieces and completing the move on the other end you do get mouse slips so that's the drawback of online play so craig hesitating a bit he's feeling the pressure as well i guess with a minute and 48 seconds on the clock um what to calculating vigorously knight b5 is on the board and what to needs to make a decision he's got 50 seconds Dragon c6. Dragons are ready to protect, but uh, at the moment, like the dragon on c5 is not protecting b7 because the other dragon is in the way. Dragon on c5 is also not looking forward that easily. So it's not a lot of dragon moves that he can make, except bishop moves. Dragon e3. Dragon. And again, Craig is um, thinking twice of this dragon e3. 
Panji says, uh, sack uh, if knight d6, rook sack. Ah, so that's the idea, yeah. If knight d6, maybe just a rook takes. And give up your rook for the knight and the pawn. You get rid of the knight. And, of course, you score another pawn. So then you would have two pawns. I say dragon e3 was, wasn't a bad move. Look decent, yeah. Yeah. But the um, question is, is there any tactics after what to sack the rook now? Ah, because e6 will be hanging. So Craig will be able to take on e6. Oh, no, no, no. The dragon on c5 is covering e6. And what to goes for it? Queen takes d6. The things, things are eating up. Okay, so queen takes e6 is not possible because the dragon on c5 is also covering e6. What now? <clears throat> I think this dragon to e3 has been wanting yeah. Craig now in this game. Um, and he finally plays it. And that could soften up the knight on b6. What it down to 45 seconds? What to do here? And of course, that move does threaten the e6 pawn indirectly because he wants to get rid of the defender. What to down to 28 seconds? Maybe e5. Oh no, not e5. f5 One? is hanging. Ah, okay. Rook to e8, but it seems so passive. What to down to 14 seconds? Knight to d5 played. Okay, so he's going to get his 15 seconds added afterwards. Craig is on 1 minute and 20 seconds. Knight to d5, so asking for the exchange. Dragon to c5, queen to c5. Ooh, and c4 is hanging. c4 is hanging. But c3 is also hanging. c3 is hanging. Ooh, things are eating up here. What do you think was happening? Maybe queen takes... Oh no. Okay, giving up the rook back is not the end of the world for Craig. Uh, giving then the rook be... back, but then I would just take on b7 then, if you want to give the rook back. Take on b7. Check. Yeah, but then you don't, you get a pawn for it. Oh. I'm saying if you get, get get the knight at least, if you allow black oh, to take. Okay. Then... So, okay, what's the time looking like? Both of these guys are below a minute. Things are very tight here. Yeah? Uba ABC says takes with check knight. Knight Banji says knight e4. Can't you go uh, dragon a6 check? Ah, but then dragon takes a6. And then queen takes a6. Queen takes a6. Yeah, that looks interesting. Yo, that did look interesting. And then maybe after dragon a6, just king a8. Queen e5, punning, uh, forcing some exchanges. Ah, but now dragon takes e5 with check. Ah, oh, but then dragon takes back. Yeah, yes. so. The dragon is hanging on c5. I think Craig has spotted some interesting play here because now. But now, can't you just play dragon e4, d4? Dragon d4. Ooh, forking the rook and the dragon on c2. But there's still this dragon a6 check. Is it gonna do anything? Yo, things are eating up. Dragon a6 check, then king a7 maybe. Yeah. What to has 10 seconds? You can't move to d7? Shoo. And he, he, he thought he could play dragon to d7. And uh, it's getting close. Dragon d4 was good, yeah. So dragon takes a4. And it seems like Craig is, uh, is solving his problems here. It seems like he solved his problems because he's now still up in exchange. What has got two points for it, but a5 is hanging. 
E6 is also hanging. Doesn't seem good for, for what to anymore. Rook takes E6, hitting the dragon bishop on C6. And now Watu finds dragon to D4, but a bit too late. Rook E7, B7 is B7. hanging. Perhaps Knight C5. Knight C5 played. Whew, this is dense. Dragon takes a5 and the pressure is mounting on the b7 pawn. I think what is in trouble here. Yeah. But can white take on b7? Maybe white doesn't want to take on b7 yet. He needs to find a move here. Rook f8 or something. Dragon c6 is not possible because dragon takes c6. Ooh, I just got four seconds. Ooh. 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 H3, just a cool move, just uh, uh, relieving the back rank. And putting the pressure again on the clock here against Watu. Very hesitant here with the rook move. 3 so he plays two. Uh, he plays f4. Wow, another end game type we're seeing here. Middle game, end game, but another end game. Rook c1 pinning the knight. So maybe threatening dragon. Bishop takes b7 check. Now we'll just rook c7 it. check and now rook takes knight and this should be over now so white is up a whole rook doesn't look good for white anymore down on the clock down material and the tactics yeah the dragon tactics really causing chaos dragon c6 check just to go into a rook in game uh, rook up. Should be over. Yeah. What is the plan? Okay, I think this should be done now. Even the black rook isn't even in the game. So I don't think there's any counterplay. So dragon to d7 is covered. Check. King a7. Is there a mate somewhere? Could have played. Yeah, but rook. okay. And the rook yeah. just drops and everything falls. That should be over. Let's just hear from the players. Oopsie, sorry. Okay, uh, players, can you hear me? I can't uh, hear you guys yet. Yeah, now I'm unmuted. Oh, yeah, now, now okay, I can. Okay, I can hear you guys. Crazy game. Well, well done, Craig. Uh, tough one, what to? um another type of end game over there uh so maybe first question to craig uh, uh, was this king e2 was it uh, <laughs> uh that you must check or what completely 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 okay because we thought you were maybe trying to do something that steiners did many years ago with the king's gambit and then allowing the check and then moving the king up oh, no no i i missed that one after you know when you release the piece that's when you see it yes uh, exactly okay. What I mean. okay and uh yeah so so yeah just what's your general thoughts of the game um well 
funny thing is my king was in trouble but i was the first one to to sort of guard him. and then i knew what he was always gonna have to 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 evaluate kingside castling because that that was that's dangerous with the dragons aiming that way um yeah i don't know i don't know i don't know i managed to get back with the tempo somehow um after gambling the pawn i, I actually didn't feel comfortable all game but um i felt yeah towards the middle game um my plan on the queen side sort of came together with my rooks getting active so okay yeah the queen side play looked uh, tremendous there uh uh what to pushing the a5 pawn there and then later long castling um yeah no, it, it didn't seem nice to short no. castle there what to so uh, we thought the long casting is the obvious way but where do you think you went wrong no but i mean after king e2 it's just very bad for white mm. the point is that i mean i played badly you know I, this whole idea with putting my knight i i, I was um i was torn between two ideas the first one i should put my knight on f8 and g6 and then and just castle with a huge position i mean um the knight b6 was wrong you know i mean i can hold my i can hold the pawn in many different ways yeah i was and actually anyway, thinking pawn... about playing b5 but okay that does take out long castling completely yeah um, but that's why i mean i can play but this knight b6 uh, after i played i didn't like it because uh -huh. my pieces i mean um uh, i don't have to defend the pawn but when i play knight b6 i'm i'm, I'm inactive you know because okay. it's probably the position is playable but the issue is that um uh you know this is because it's very hard to evaluate it's, yeah it's, it's yeah and and you know you know what time is important and uh, i should play more practically knight f8 and and knight. but after king e2 i mean come on i but just look uh, the blitz the blitz I, just, I think it went down to the blitz there at the end as well i saved the game but i just want to ask you guys or maybe point out, i thought what to that year uh let me, i'm just trying to move backwards here instead of dragon to to a4 in this position perhaps i don't know if, if you guys yeah, i don't know have time you, yeah you don't i don't have, have time. time yeah it's just too it's much dragons that. too much dragons and too much tactics no uh, i don't have time but 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 so even maybe, look, yeah. it is better in the situation than my rook no but okay i thought oh, maybe rook. dragon to d4 and then the rook is the dragon and the dragon is that's also a good a, move okay. but okay yeah. it's, it's blood so you don't have time yet rook takes uh over here possibly rook takes a5 no 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 but c2 hangs wait a second can do you have something oh, after this? Nothing. No, no, no. So but okay, it's, diffi it's difficult to 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 find the stuff in the time scramble. There's no time, you know. Yeah. I mean, look, it's very hard because the first of look, I mean, this is it's a lot of fun, but I don't think you can take it that seriously in terms of analysis because number one, the position is random. Number two, you have uh, you know the dragon, and number three, you've got the time. So you know, yeah. So I mean, I'm, not, I'm not beating. I'm not beating myself up as much as I would beat myself up in a, in a normal chess game, you know. Mm -hmm. I mean, it's just it's just too many factors. Okay, it's fun. It's a lot of fun, but I don't. I I wouldn't put too much. Um, what's the word I'm looking for at the moment? I mean, with this time limit, I wouldn't. I'm, I'm not putting too much. Yeah. It's, no, the time not, limit, the time control, because we wanna we wanna perfect, you know. No, look. If on a longer term camp control, this would be very interesting. Yeah, but like, I think on a time, on a short time control, you know, I mean, I'm normally very hard on myself after losing a game. But now I, I it's like the emotions can't even kick in because yeah, I don't yeah. feel like it's it's not. I don't know where to where to put it. You know, I mean, I don't know where to classify it. So it's, okay, you know, it's interesting. You know, that is all I can. All <laughs> I right, can but say. Uh, yeah, that's that's it. That's a tournament. That's a time control. But uh, well done to you, Craig. Yeah, but you're right. right what... uh, uh, I missed I missed Dragon D4. I'm thinking about it now. It's a very strong move. It wins a piece, no? Yeah, but okay. Like I said, uh, that's the main thing where fatalities happen in the tournament is the dragon tactics. You must get used to the dragon tactics and just too many dragon dragons on the board with a short uh, amount of time that's left. Easy. So it's uh, a lot of fun, but it's not it's not easy at all. Yeah. So yeah, thanks guys. It was very entertaining right. stuff. So Craig, you got your third point in a row, and um, yeah. So the next match will be between um, Daniel Barish and Henry Steele. Stay tuned, guys. We're gonna take a short break and then come back with the next match. Thanks, uh, Craig. Thanks. What to see you guys? Yeah, I think you guys came for the day. Cheers, cheers, guys. Yeah, see you guys. See the viewers soon. Cheers.